today Joburg TV has been exclusively invited to the Market Square for the naming of one of its boardrooms. The Market Square Foundation will do this in honor of the late popular actress Lindiwe Tlibi, also known as Doopsie. So what better way to kickstart Women's Month? Standing next to me is Ubab Ngobo. So I want to find out he against Gutu Kete Usis Lindiwe Tlibi. Uh, you know, when I was given a task, you name it, these, these spaces in this new building, one of the things that uh, um, I thought of very strongly was the names we attached to this building should be names of people who, who, who really gave their all as actors. And, um, and, and, and that was the criteria that I, I really uh, am... am um, took on board very strongly and you will see the the, the, the rooms they named after James M. Toba. They, there's the Sophia Town room, there is the Sarafina room, uh, 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 um, there's the Township Boy room talking to John Ledwaba uh, with all those great plays. And Lindy Wekibi is just was, you know, I, as I said, I was on stage with Lindy and I've seen her do other works. I could not, she was of that age group, she was the only person I thought of, I didn't think of, of anyone else. It wasn't like Lindua or somebody else. I got to Lindua and I thought, I'm done there. She, she oozed such generosity as an actor, Lindua, and, and, and it was so sad that her life was cut so short at the height of her career. I never really called people stars, but Lindua will be an absolute star today if she was still alive. And for me, it is very important that, that we are able to, to honor uh, um, um, uh, the footprints that she left behind. And that is why I felt we needed to have this bill, this, 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 this room and name it after a stunning actress. Now you speak so passionately about her and I'm a young and myself. So just... If I was a fly on the wall during that time, Yini Wengzoi Bona, and the type of energy that she had. Oh, loads of giggling with, 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 with Lindy. And, 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 and Lindy, what was also actually very nice about it, which was a sign of how bright she was. Lindy could just flip like that. At one point, she could be, she could be quite serious and talk about things whose pertinence is, was very strong for that time, what was going on. And, and we were acting and South Africa just changed. And she was, she was a real daughter of the soil. And she, she, her mind, she knew what was going on, and at the same time, there was this silly girl in her that you know, and 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 I remember sometimes it was Patelana and and you know I've always loved cooking and would sit in the room, and I had Lindy, I had Mabatu Mohomuti, and and these these gorgeous women that I was acting with and I was the only guy in, in, in the piece and it just felt e -e -e -e, that both girls knew which slice of me to take when we, were, when we were acting. We had just and I've always been one of those actors I believe if you're not going to do it properly, don't act. You know, because you, you, you've, you've got to act. You've got to, you've got to move people. You've got to play somebody. You've got to immerse yourself in somebody's life. Because anything less than that is not exciting. And Lindy was more than that. It's very hard to talk about Lindy without crying. Because I love her very much. I'd like to pass this around so anyone who hasn't got Lindy in their minds at the moment, look at that cover of Melora. You can hear Melora was about revenge. It was about a brother and a sister and the mother. I was the bad mother who'd murdered the father and they wanted to take revenge. The first time I saw Lindy on stage was at the Witz Theatre in a streetcar named Desire. I know Vusi Konene and the wonderful Mushidi were in it, but I couldn't take my eyes off Lindy. I hadn't seen this power before. Two or ten days before, some years later, Melora was due to go to Grahamstown. The actress who was playing Clytemnestra ran away. I'm not, I'm not surprised. It's a terrifying role to play. And I was called in as someone who could learn words quickly. So I became the white mother of my black Electra and Orestes. 
When I went in, Yael Farber called me in to see Lebo and Lindy working. This was before it had shown anywhere it was going to Grahamstown. I looked at these two young people, but especially at Lindy, and I thought, I'm 43, 44, how on earth can I ever match the power of this actress on stage? Won't I let her down? But no, Lindy brought me, old Dorothy, up to her level. I have never, I have never had as an exciting an experience on stage opposite an actor. And Lindy is with me every second day because every new student who comes into my house or comes to work with me, I give them that, I say, look at this. This is an actress making a total gift of herself. Yes, there's the phys physical body. Yes, there's the intellectual stuff actors have to do. Then there is heart and Lindy had a huge heart. And then there is spirit. And Lindy made a gift to the gods, to her public, to honor her family and every single thing she did. Standing with me right now is Ubabungani Gassis Lindy Iwe Philip. So I just want to find out from you, what was Usis Lindy Iwe like growing up? Because Tina, we know her from the TV as a sister. Besides that, we don't know beyond. So, you know, I'm, I'm really not surprised in the way she, that she has turned uh, throughout the years. She's always been a vibrant child. Um, um, for some reason, you know, at that time, I did not even see or realize the, that acting ability. Yeah, okay. But she always made, I don't know, imaginary things, you know? Yeah, she would, she would sing, she would, you know, do things, act, and all, all sorts of things. So when it happened much later in her life, that's when I realized, oh, okay, but it has been there before, yeah. But honestly speaking, just like it was said the year before, um, she was somebody with a big heart. Yeah, she's, I, there's not even a single moment where I see, you know, people do get angry or whatever, you know, it's part of life. But those were very rare. Those were very rare. She's always been a pleasant person. And what does this boardroom mean to the family? Because now your surname is engraved right here at the Market Theatre Square. Uh, honestly, I, I, I didn't see it coming. Um, it's, it's an honour and a great privilege. Um, more than the boardroom, um, it's, it's, it's a realisation of the impact that she has had, um, both in this field that she is and also at home. But we are also very, very grateful that um, um, the Market Theatre has taken this opportunity to actually name one of their boardrooms after Olindi um, Wekribe. So we are really, really honored. Just want to say for you very quietly and in, with the utmost humility, the end of Melora. And if you can shut your eyes and imagine Lindy and Lebo and I and the mamas and Sulwana standing very quietly. We never took a curtain call. We just stood as the ash came down. And the words that I had to speak on behalf of what the white race did in this country were these. It falls softly the residue of revenge, like rain. And we who made the sons and daughters of this land servants in the halls of their forefathers, we know we are still only here by grace alone. Look now, dawn is coming. Great chains on the home are falling off. This house rises up. For too long it has lain in ash. 
on the ground. Bless you, Lindy. Just like that, the name of Lindiwe Tribi will forever be engraved right here at the Market Square. From Yushob Silamata and the Jobek TV team, till next time.